that saying of Mother Teresa that God writes straight with crooked lines. It's definitely my story, I believe. The diaconate day. Deacon Michael Pinnacoli first heard the calls of priesthood when he was 12 years old. Just like the rest of his large Italian-American family in Brooklyn, he was attending St. Athanasius School, and his pastor had come to class to visit. Came in and asked um, if any of the boys would possibly be interested in priesthood one day. And young Michael raised his hand. Yet as quickly as he had thought of the priesthood, he would file it away, instead taking up journalism, until God's hand turned him again in another direction. I had a desire to help people, and I wasn't sure how to kind of bring that to fruition, how that would be materialized. So I just took this course in social work, and I really liked it getting his first job close to his current assignment of Most Precious Blood Parish in Bath Beach. As proud as he was of his work and in participating in his home parish through music ministry, Deacon Penicali felt a longing for more. It was not fulfilled and uh, it was kind of a longing for something deeper mm -hmm. and I really couldn't quite put my finger on it. At 36 years old, Deacon Penicali would enter the St. John Paul XXIII Seminary in Massachusetts, which specializes in later in life vocations. Now as he awaits ordination day, the soon-to-be priest hopes to help God's people find their calling as he learned to find his. Realizing what God wants of you and, and how he wants to fill you and then allowing him to fill you mm -hmm. and to kind of become who you are, mm -hmm. who he wants you to be, it's just the most amazing thing. And I feel as though he's He's blessing me with, with the fullness of life and I can just kind of be myself. Reporting for Currents. I'm Katie Angusser.